Hi, thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Roberto Aguirre. Uh, today I would like to talk about you, the different functions that the product that administrator trade off performs uh, the product uh, production control department that we impact. So I choose this topic because it's the job that I've been doing the last three years three years since I started working here in Winpack. And now they are more familiar with different departments that doesn't have con too much contact with us. They don't know what we do. So in this way, I'm trying to explain it a little bit uh, what really we produce at PDA. So who is PDA? It's a group of three people that works in the production control department. And basically, uh, they offer customer service for different departments, which can be marketing, graphics, R&D, costing, and also our own department, uh, production control. Um, for marketing and graphics, they is usually they request items from us that can be printed or that can be plain. Graphics department is the one who request the printed items is a uh, little sample over there is how it looks like and then we produce the, the new item under a uh, unique family this unique family is uh, uh, attached with the unique lower levels and then we create the, the item and this one we're going to have a unique inventory to the plant uh, the next um, department that requests our service will be R&D together with costing. The customer sometimes requests uh, products that we don't have the family set it up on the system, but doesn't mean that we don't have those materials. This means that we don't have that combination of materials. We, may, we might produce those materials already, but we don't have that combination. So R&D make an analysis of those combinations and send it to us, and then we create the family. And after that, we create the quote, the quote that is requesting for costing. And costing, with that way, can offer a price to our current customers or a prospect customers. And in the case of a production control department, our internal department, we we that we create a. Uh, alternates to either to either uh, allocate overage inventory or expedite um, orders from customers. So, so as I said, our main role is will be to create uh, new items for. Um, if we don't have items, we cannot uh, uh, do the site order, or we cannot produce anything. So the current or the more often request from marketing and uh, graphics will be roll stock. The roll stock uh, can be plain or can be printed. Those items are used to, uh, to package ham, sausage, bacon, etc. Many products. So how we identify that this uh, roll stock on the system? We put the N, the 03, that means it's a roll stock clear. It's just a, a clear film. After that, we add the five digits the customer number is identified by credit to this point. And then we add two more digits that is a sequential number that will be 01, 02 until we get to 99. And the NO4 is a little bit different. The NO4 it means that it's a printed item with roll stock material with the family, uh, the five digits of the customer number, plus a customer design that will be 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D. As many they, they need. Why? Because sometimes the print is very similar, but they change something, let's say colors, but the design of the picture is the same, but the colors are changing. So in that way, they can identify which one the uh, printing department is going to print. The other product that also Winpack offer 
will be the pouches. Pouches are identified for, of, by N21s and N22s, and as well for the family. That will be the, the same logical system, the five digit numbers for the customer and the two digits for the sequential part. And the print part will be the same. Uh, we also create quotes. Those quotes are identified for a general number. In this case, we use uh, number nine. So let's say we use the, the roll stock. We say N3 plus the family. We add a nine plus the size of the item and how many across that item is going to run. So to do to create a new items or part numbers, we have to follow procedures and processes that already WinPack establishes in the, uh, in the company and all of that you can find it on an internal net that everybody can look at it and to see how it looks. So the first thing that we do to create the items is to check if the family or the structure exists. If it exists, we go ahead and create the family, the variant, sorry. If it doesn't exist, we refer back to the marketing coordinator and I advise them that we don't have that family yet. So they have to forward to R&D and then R&D analyze it again and send it to us and then in that way we can create the item. So as you see, here is a little bit an example of the item. So it's an, a roll stock, NO3, with all the levels that we need to add So for that family. We also follow machine specifications. At Winpack we have a several machines that have a different capabilities and different restrictions. So we need to understand where, how, and when we can run those, those uh, items. So we have to follow these that also are in the internal net at Winpack. As well, Winpack have a list of the standard materials that we use here. So we can go only on to uh, measure, like a wide as the 13, 50, millimeters, it depends on the material. So, and the last thing well, that we create, we will be the, uh, we, sorry, we check, will be the manufacturing comments or MO comments. In this one can be that have a specific uh, criteria from the customer that he needs to do something with that material really to, to get it to them. Um, perhaps can be uh, analysis or or that the material has to be wrapped in a certain way that to get to the customer. And, sorry, can you increase? Here, these are some specifications that we have to follow away with the procedures and processes. As I said previously, we also perform internal activities. It can be monthly, it can be weekly, depends how busy we are. So the first thing that I will do is they will be the monthly update. After we create all those families and all those variants for our customers, we check if the speed and scrap codes are correct because the scrap codes is telling us how much uh, scrap we are throwing to the garbage and how fast is the job running on the machines. And after Sometimes, also, the customer may not need the part number anymore. They change the structure or they need a different material. So we build the system to make the database more efficient and also uh, avoid errors to produce something that is not need to produce. And the last thing that we do is the creation of alternates. Those alternates we create it to either expedite a printed order for our customers or to rework material that comes from the supplier that sometimes get damaged on the transportation. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. As you see, it's a very important role on, at WinPack. 
because we are in the start of the new part. If we don't have those parts, we don't have sales orders or how to produce. Thank you.